Righan Craft Distillery, located by Nisku, Alberta, is truly a one-of-a-kind experience. And if you're in the area, it is a must-do. They are a grain-to-glass distillery that are as local as you can get, right down to the bottle design of the Leduc No. 1 oil rig. Autumn in Alberta, Canada, on the 53rd parallel north, is in full colour. The leaves are so vibrant this time of year, and falling fast to the forest floor. The garden harvest from a long summer's work has filled the kitchen with a sense of happiness as we lead up to our Canadian Thanksgiving. The hours of daylight we have are getting less, and the nights are getting cooler. However, this year we have been blessed with warmth, and we are soaking it all in. We have been busy checking out the chainsaw competitions at Rig Hand Distillery, pumpkin patches and corn mazes, fall walks, and of course celebrating with family for our Thanksgiving. some power to the coop so that way we can plug in the heat source when it gets down to minus 30 minus 40 and keep it you know minus 10 minus 5 in the coop so they don't get frostbite uh, but they got good ventilation all the soffits are open with mesh so there's good ventilation in there and we'll have lots of heat and uh, also be able to plug in our heated water dish so we don't have to chip ice during the winter it'll be nice Just plug it in change the water every two or three days good and hopefully we'll also be able to plug in the Chick Cozy automatic door and then that way the automatic door will open and close every morning and night. To Just out catching the last few minutes of uh, sunshine here before it sets for the evening. The hours uh, this time of year you sure notice uh, the hours of daylight lessening like super fast. Um, in the summer where we live we get uh, I want to say about 17 hours of daylight maybe a little more give or take and uh, in the winter sometimes I think we get like six hours of daylight seven hours maybe max so um, we do get Sun it's not complete dark out for you know several months like some people get further north prepping the garden for spring uh, so what I do by that is we pull back a lot of the stuff um, some of the beds I will rototill especially my ones where I plant garlic because we plant our hardneck garlic uh, right after Canadian Thanksgiving towards the end of October 
and then cover that all in with straw and it will be good and insulated and then in the spring we will have again our fresh garlic so yeah we've been super busy doing all of that mike's been doing stuff with the chicken coop and i think i'm going to take the girls to the yeg corn maze tomorrow i'll show a few highlights but if you want to see more about the corn maze we can link it in the video above anywhere and i'll we could also put the link in the description below but we have done the yeg corn maze in the past uh super fun great place fall activity for the kids so uh come along with us and uh see what kind of adventures we'll have are you on the phone kid Fake sleeping in your backseat You were singing badly We both know you had me We were shifting seasons Taking back roads Where did all the time go? Lost in the crescendo You're the loudest thing in my head And I I could ever remember 22 degrees Celsius on uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. So uh, we're gonna take it. We're just doing some cleanup around the yard, uh, cutting the grass, putting away all the rest of the gardening stuff. Uh, Mike polyed in the run of the chicken coop. We're just outside enjoying the sun, enjoying the day, and uh, gonna get into making some pumpkin pie for Thanksgiving dinner. Fingers crossed that we have a good winter. I've heard we're all going into an albino, which can mean uh, lots of freeze and thaw cycles for where we live, which is very hard on the plants and of course the animals, the livestock. I don't mind winter, but I actually prefer a winter with lots and lots of snow so we can just have a good Canadian winter and enjoy ourselves. I don't like the freeze thaw cycles, everything turns to ice and uh, you know what, it's just not fun. You were flying like a summer in my heart. You're on the straw bales. Picked up some straw for the chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Grandma picked up straw for us because we've been giving her tomatoes and eggs. <laughs> oh, we'll keep them nice and dry this winter. What they say, Tom's got a good way of healing. I'm back on my feet and I'm happier than ever. Like I never thought forever was you. Where did all the time go? Lost in the crescendo. You're the 